Okay, so where were we with... Oh, uh, yeah, I I think I remember where we A, B, C, D. So we're gonna start off with episode E of Game Pro TV, followed by episode F. And then... Hmm. And then we're going to watch episodes 5 and 7 of Video Power, so... Uh... Um... Uh, let's go ahead and get started and, uh, kick this off the right way, so, um... As I've been mentioning previously... Game Pro TV was a companion piece to Game Pro Magazine, which only aired for one season with this current format that it was in. It was rebooted with a new format, just like Video Power was, but... This is the format of uh, Game Pro TV that a lot of us were familiar with back then, myself included. So, uh, we're gonna watch two episodes of that, and then after that we're gonna take a break, and then watch two episodes of Video Power, and that'll be all for the stream, so... Hope you folks enjoyed this little blast to the past, as I like to call it. But for a lot of people out there who have never watched these shows before, this will definitely be very new to a lot of you. So, hope you guys enjoy this and uh, enjoy the... Uh, Last, it's to the past segment here, folks. Here we go. Today on Game Pro, our favorite skin rash is returning battle toes for the NES. A super power-up tip for Bloody Wolf on the T-16. Hard-hitting arcade excitement and super high-impact football. And learn to fly and pilot wings for the SNES. All this and more on Game Pro. Oh, yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm J.D. Ross. Yeah, and I'm Brent Hans. What's, up, What's up, buddy? buddy? How's it going? Welcome to Game Pro! That's right, and we are buzzing on the set today because the Game Lab goofballs have been stretched to the max this week, putting together the up-to-the-minute super fresh stuff you're waiting for, and we know you're waiting for it. So I'll tell you what, dudes, today's stuff is so fresh Mr. that it's still coming in. Mr. B, man, stop. Even as we take it to the air. Sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Roth, but that 16-bit that Castlevania 4 you wanted for today, I'm sorry it's late, but, but Marvin was assigned to do it. Hey, it's a Marvin. Marvin. Marvin Roo. Marv Meister. No, no. Doing the Marv thing. No, you see, Marvin was also assigned to the Ask the Pros, and, well, well Marvin didn't make it. Whoa. Whoa. In, in fact, Marvin will be leaving the lab shortly. Wow. I can't believe we lost another one, dude. But, uh... Hey, thanks for bringing me the 16-bit stuff. You're, you're, you're welcome. But, but Mr. Roth, what, what if they asked me to do it and ask the pros? I have a wife. I have two children, Mr. Roth. Miss, Mr. Bean, I, what if they asked me to do a cutting edge? I, I don't know what I'd do then. I, I can't Oof. do this. Well, I guess we fried another Game Lab garbanzo beans. And from uh, the look of old George there, yeah, he could be next. Weird. Yeah, that dude is weird. Major weird. Oof. You know... I think he's after my job, too, that spud. That's okay, though. The game maniacs back in the game lab may be a little bit weird, but I'd say they came through with the goods today, I must admit. So, you know, the goods are coming from Game Pro Magazine. It's the right stuff at the right time, and we're studly, so if you're ready to kick off, let's kick it to SWAT. I'm off. 
dangerous weapons and tactics. Woo! Here I am right in the middle of my favorite NES game card, Battletoad, with a tip that'll nail down a ton of one-ups. Head for level two. Now, kick a bird and grab its beak for a weapon. Use the weapon to whack another bird over the head. But don't just hit him once. I'm talking major whacking. Keep whacking the same bird over and over again, because the more times you hit the same bird, the more bonus points you're going to get. And after a while, you'll get a one-up. Good luck. Once again, you got to keep whacking the same bird over and over again to get more bonus points and tons of one-ups. All right. Hi, I'm Andrew Bethea from Ruston, New Jersey, and I have a question on the game Shadow Gate. I'm stuck in the tower with a large sphinx. I can't figure out the answer to its riddles. Can you help me? Ah, uh, it's a piece of cake, dude. Watch this. The sphinx riddles can be solved with a little bit of common sense. The questions will come at random and will involve giving the Sphinx an item in your inventory in order to get by him. In this riddle, the Sphinx says, Long neck, no hands, a hundred legs cannot stand. Born of a forest nest, against a wall I rest. Now the Sphinx is looking for a broom. Give him the broom and you're on your way. Here's another one. First burnt and beaten drowned and pierced with nails, then stepped on by long-faced animals. It's a horseshoe! Give it to the Sphinx and he'll let you by. Now watch what happens when you answer a question incorrectly. The Sphinx asks, you look at me, I look back, your right hand raises, I my left. You speak, but I in vain. Now the answer to the riddle is mirror, but if you don't have the mirror, the Sphinx will punish you by sending you back to near the beginning of the game. So make sure you have as many items in your inventory before you face the Sphinx. Happening question, bud. Now, for the rest of you gamer dudes, just keep them coming in, okay? Watch for the address at the end of the show. And when we come back, an awesome password tip to load up both your barrels in the Lone Ranger on Game Pro. <laughs> Time to move out to SWAT! After you, my friend. Well, thank you, your dudeness. Wrong door, B-Man. Ah, uh, go for it, bud! Secret weapons and tactics. Whoa! Hi-ho, silver dudes. Back in SWAT world with another great password trick for the NES game, The Lone Ranger. Hey, buddy. Hey, later, dude. That'll teach him. With this one password, you can send the masked man out on the range loaded up with extra cash, a long-barreled gun, 50 rounds of standard bullets, 50 rounds of silver bullets, and 10 sticks of dynamite. In other words, almost every weapon this game has to offer. Here's the code. After you bring up the password screen, enter 0810-7830. 32512. Be sure to leave the last three digits of the password blank. But hold on, my faithful Indian companion. There's more. After you enter the password, the message Area 1 Select will appear. Now use up and down on your control pad to select the area. That's right, Kimasabi. You not only get all the weapons, you can select any area in the game to start from. Choose your entry point and hi-ho, silver! Away! Just in case you missed it, here's the password again. Nice haircut, man. Ooh. If you're looking for more power in the adventure game, Bloody Wolf for the T-16, check out this awesome pad trick. Bring up the title screen on the game and press up, down, right, right, button one, button one, button two, and then select on the control pad. Now remember, it's got to happen in that order. If you hit it right, a large number two will appear on the title screen, and you've just souped up your character's speed big time. Now, keep going by pressing down, up, left, left, 
button two, button two, button one, and then select. Hit run and begin the game and you're ready to fly. One more time. First, bring up the title screen. Now, press these buttons in this order. Up, down, right, right, button one, button one, button two, and then select. When you see the large number two on the screen, you know the increased speed is in the bag. Now keep going. Press down, up, left, left, button two, button two, button one, and then select. Now you'll be looking at a big three hit run and you'll be flying over those screaming meanies. to check in with the pros back in the game lab over here and get the word on what's hot, what's not, and new in game cards. You got it, my man. This week, we are looking at a few new adventures for your NES and TurboGrafx-16. Now, you remember how this thing works, right? The Magic Four. We rate the games in four categories. Graphics, sound, difficulty of the challenge, and the overall fun factor. Factor, indeed. First from the game lab, Goonies, this week is Shatterhand for the NES. And it is nothing less than metallic mayhem in this story of law and order in the year 2030. Now, if you think we've got bad guy problems today, forget about it, bud. Because in the year 2030, the bad guys are cyborgs, and they are the ultimate in Mondo Metal Monsters. So what are they going to do about these cyberpunks? Well, somebody's got to take the dirty job, and that someone is lawman Steve Herman of the Law and Order Regulatory Division, also known as Lord. Lawman Steve prepares for this most heinous of assignments by trading in his own flesh and blood mitts for a pair of metal-crushing cybernetic hands. His new code name, Shatterhand. The action takes place over seven levels of metal-crunching madness as Shatterhand gives a nasty new meaning to the idea of getting punched in the face. And that's not all, so check it out, bud. The Shattermeister can also create his own pet robots by putting three alpha or beta letters together. And let me tell you, these robots are truly man's best friend because they put out some weapon power that is not to be believed. Now, how did we score it? Perfection, dude! Ah! The graphics are awesome and the multi-scrolling scenery sizzles! Now, the sound is totally and completely cool! You want challenge? You got it, bud, because every inch of this game is a fight for your life. Now, is it fun? Well, for my money, cheddar hands, rock 'em, sock 'em, action is as good as it gets. So what did you think of the cart, dude? Definitely a thumbs up, man. Thumbs her up! Yeah! It was happening. I pulled it out earlier in the week, and I have not put it down yet. And, dude, the graphics, they're, like, right there. Yeah, right can you, there. Can you see them? I, I can feel it. I thought you could. Well, we do have another cart to check out today, so we got to get down to business. It's TV, sports, hockey, and while it may not be the best hockey cart ever to skate on the market, we're thinking it might be the best sports game for the T-16, and hey, you know that's worth talking about. International Hockey Play arrives on the small screen in the most realistic turbo sports game to date. Like NHL hockey for the Genesis system, TV Sports Hockey uses a vertical overhead view of the rink that keeps you on top of the action as you push the puck down the ice. But the real thrills come with the breakaways, face-offs, and fights because the screen switches to a major close-up so you don't miss a beat of the good stuff. Check it out! Here's a fight! It's a left! It's a right! It's another left! Somebody's going down! Oh! Oh yeah, and there's cracks in the ice, which can send your skates flying in all directions. And of course, what's a hockey game without penalties? They're here, but we've got to tell you, these refs are a little funky, because the calls don't seem to be right on the money. No wonder the players in TV sports hockey fight so much. 
I bet you're wondering how we rate this puppy, huh? Here goes. The graphics are solid. The overhead perspective switching into the close-ups for the good parts works big time. You gotta love the realistic sound put into this game. I mean, check out the shushing of the ice when a player hits the brakes. The bone-crushing crashing against the sides. It's major cool. The challenge? Uh, I think we hit a problem here. We gotta diss the computer opponent. The players are totally lame, but, uh, well, no big deal. Play with some friends because the game is great for up to five players. The fun factor's there as long as you're playing it with a bud. But if you gotta rely on the computer opponent, this game is gonna be colder than the ice it's built on. Burr! My man, Bernan, uh, what'd you think of it, bud? Hated it. Oh, man, that's cold. I'm Robert Robert from Germantown, Maryland, and I beat Fantasy Star 2. Hi, my name is David Riker. I live in Germantown, Maryland. I beat Strider on the same day as the system. This is Greg Riker from Germantown, Maryland. I completed the quest with Sword of Vermilion from the Sega Genesis system. All right, good score, dudes. Game Pro Magazine freebies for one and all. And remember, bud, if you want to win, got to send them in. Realistic flying, skydiving, and rocket pack action for the SNES when we return on Game Pro! No! Bro! Summer up! Secret weapons and tactics. Hey, nice view from up here. It's password time in SWAT World, starting out with a couple of free boarding passes to the final three levels of the SNES flight simulator, Pilot Wings. Now, I don't know about you junior airmen out there, but I am totally addicted to this new SNES flying thing, and when you get to the later levels of flights, it is awesome. So check it out, because these numbers will put you in the pilot seat with the big boys. To get right to level six, enter 400718, and you're free falling. For level seven, and to check out the jetpack, type 773. Two, two, four. Finally, for level eight, and to pilot this cool biplane, type in one six five four one one. I just couldn't let you go without a free ride to the night helicopter mission. So this one's on me. Punch in 882943 and hit the nighttime sky. Well, since we're doing passwords, here's one that will take you directly to the final round in Herzog Zai for the Genesis game system. Bring up the password screen and type J-L-J-O-I-G-L-A-O-K-N. Get through this round and this game card is history. Here's that password one more time. J-L-J-O-I-G-L-A-O-K-N. Good luck. <laughs> Now, if you're a football freak like I am, then I know that you've dropped a few more quarters at the arcade on high-impact football, right? Well, start saving up your coins, because coming this fall to an arcade near you is super high-impact football, yeah! And it is beyond awesome. Oh, yeah, the bone-crushing action of high-impact football is back 
with some new features that truly deserve recognition. Check it out. For starters, Super High Impact Football has three different skill levels to choose from. Pro, Championship, and Ultimate. For players who think they can take on as much punishment as they can dish out. And if you think your defense is hitting as hard as it gets, check out the Hitometer. Because this game will tell you whether you're sending receivers to the hospital or you're nothing more than a cream puff. Whew, I hate that part. League or tournament play is now totally possible because the machine keeps your lifetime stats, win-loss records, and every other bit of information needed to keep the league going all the way to the Super Bowl. Ah, oh, dude. You know what I love? What? Well, this machine actually spits out tops collected football cards when you win. Now, that is pretty rad, I must say. Don't That's as good as it gets. This one is radical. Well, I don't know if the machine is at your local arcade yet, but it's coming up, so line up now. The line starts behind me, and the action is truly awesome. See it. Let's go, bud. <laughs> First, there was Castlevania, then Castlevania II, Simon's Quest, and then Castlevania III, Dracula's Curse for the NES. Then they hit you with Castlevania I and II for the Game Boy, you remember that. And now, the Drac is back, and the blood has never run so red as on this one. The greatest Castlevania of them all, Castlevania IV, for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. All right, check this out. Here's the story. In the small and peaceful country of Transylvania, legend has it that every hundred years, the forces of good become mysteriously weak. Now, when this happens, the power of Dracula revives, and with every time he returns, he's more powerful than before. Now, this keeps making it tougher and tougher on the Belmont family, who take on the chore of whipping the Drac man back into his coffin. Well, listen up, because it's Easter night, and while the people of Transylvania are having, like, this big, huge party, the evil ones are holding a black mass, pouring blood on Dracula's bones. Ugh, the Drac is back. Yo, man, I'm starting to scare myself here. All right. Let's get back to the story. All that stands between Dracula and a good swig of blood is Simon Belmont and his magical whip. And I don't know about you, but I've been really heavily into this game ever since it first appeared. And dudes, it has never been better than in the new SNES version. The graphics are unbelievable. I mean, you gotta check out the 3D rotating backgrounds. It is awesome. If I hadn't seen it for myself, I would not have believed that this is such a great home cart. Totally, totally awesome. These Konami dudes have taken 16-bit to the max with characters and backgrounds that look like they're really living, breathing Mondo monsters. Ooh, the sound, it's not just a game soundtrack. It is a full-on album. Each level has its own theme music, and it's good enough to have been cut by my man, MC Hammer. I'm saying plug this game into your stereos, dude, because it will blow you out of the room. Now, it's a good thing that this card is fun, and you can just look at it and listen to it, because once you get hooked, you'll be playing all the time. In fact, you'll be lucky to get Dracula while you're still young enough to enjoy it. <laughs> if you make it to the end of this one, we'll make you a member of the Pro Challenge Board Hall of Fame. For real, Castlevania IV for the SNES means fun, and guys, it just doesn't get any better than this one. More tips next! <laughs> Hi, I'm John Weaver from Sean, Wisconsin, and if you're playing Mega Man on the NES, there's a great way to register several hits on an enemy with just one shot. When you encounter a big enemy like the Rockman in Dr. Wily's stage, you can fire anyone in your weapons, the Electman Beam works best. Just as the weapon's about to hit the enemy, you push the select button rapidly so it pauses and unpauses the game. Doing this will kill the enemy with two to three shots instead of several. Very radical tip, dude. We got a free Game Pro t-shirt heading your way. Well, you know what? That's about all the Game Lab Gonzo's put together for us today, so we're going to take off. That's right, but hang in there, okay, bud? Because we're going to be cracking the whip in the Game Lab, and they're hard at it, getting all the up-to-the-minute tips, tactics, breaking game news that you're going to want to hear, guarantee it. The mail's been happening here, and we want you to keep it coming in, all right? We want those questions. We want those tips. Bring them on. Bring them on, indeed. So check out the address. Here it comes. Game Pro, P.O. Box, 1678, Venice, California, 90291. Okay, we'll catch you next time. I'm J.D. Roth. See you next time on Game Pro. Peace, baby. My man. Hey! Later.
On the next live from Hollywood, Murphy Brown's Joe Rego Bruto will be here. So Emmy winner Patricia Wedding to tell us about life after 30 something. Plus Doc Severinsen and the Tonight Show Band all on the next live. From Hollywood. Monday at 9. Right here on Channel 7. for Journey to Stillian. All this and more on Game Pro. We're jamming. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Game Pro. I'm J.D. Ross. And I'm Brent Hunt. What's up, pal? What's up, How's buddy? Going? What? Now, if you're here to find out what's happening this week in video game land, I think you should put a chill on it, bud, because uh -huh. we've got the stuff you're looking for. That's right, buddy? He's absolutely right. You I see, know. I just came from the game lab, and uh, the gonzos back there put together a full plate of awesome tips, tactics, and other great stuff. And uh, where do we get it from? You know where we get it. Game Pro Magazine, of course. The number one source for all the home and arcade game information that you need to beat your favorite games. Yes. Dude, yo, boy, check this out. Yeah? I was at the arcade yesterday just partying, you uh -huh. know? Guess what I found? Uh, what? I found this arcade game that has holograms. Holograms? Yeah. Come on, no way. Way, dude, holograms. No, it's like Do I could it. touch it. Prove it. Okay, I was in there playing the game, yeah. and I could touch it, and it was like they were live, you know? So I went over, came back here, and told the game lab dudes about it, right? Yeah. And they came over and checked it out, and guess what? Uh, what? It's on today's show, bud. Today's show? Today's show, yes. Nice. All right, good work. That's right. So now I've got some righteous, fast action coverage of Time Traveler, the first arcade game that uses holograms. So let's get this one going, because I think I've got my uh, pump going here. So kick it, dude. SWAT time? SWAT time. I'm going to SWAT World. Yeah. yeah. See you there. Whoa! Secret weapons and tactics. Ahead. Make my day. So, you feel lucky, punk? Well, you oughta. Because I'm hanging here in SWAT World with an awesome tip for the NES game, Dirty Harry. Well, Harry Callahan is as tough as they come. A cop can always use a few extra lives. Check out this tip that'll give you unlimited lives. Bring up the title screen and type in Clyde at the beginning of the game. That's it. You're invincible. Hey, I'm sure this tip will make your day. Okay, once again, at the title screen, type in Clyde. Whoa! Phew! As long as we're on the subject of movies, you can never know too many tips for the Game Boy version of the Heroes in a Half Shell. You know it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the Fall of the Foot Clan. Here's a tip that will get you an invisible turtle. All right, now listen up. It's more than a little bit complicated, so pay close attention. First, Bring up the title screen, hold down A, B, and select at the same time. Now, press start. During the configuration screen, continue to hold down all four buttons. When it's time to choose your stage, keep holding A, B, and select, and then hit start on level two. Play the game in level two and go to the second bonus stage. If you're still with me, make sure you only have one energy bar. Now, while it's flashing, reset the game by pressing A, B, select, and start at the same time. When you're in the configuration mode this time, continue to hold down A, B, and select. Choose Leonardo. When the screen says Stage 1, press A, B, and right on your control pad until the screen comes on. If you made it through all that, you've achieved the invisible state. And if you want to stay that way, do not enter any bonus stages. Good luck. Let's check this out again. Bring up the title screen. Hold down A, B, and select at the same time. Now press start. So far, so good. Then hit start on stage two. Play the game in stage two. And make sure you only have one energy bar. 
Now while you're flashing, reset the game by pressing A, B, select and start at the same time. Hold down A, B and select and then choose Leonardo. When the screen says stage one, press A, B and right on your control pad until the screen comes on. I'm Doug Jacobson from Vallejo, California. I've been playing a Genesis game called Revenge of Shinobi. The trouble is, I can get to the end and I can kill Neo Z, but Neoko always gets killed too. Is there any way I can defeat Neo Z but keep Neoko from getting killed? Solid question. You know, I know you took out at least one Game Lab Gonzola with that one, but hey, as always, we got the answer, so check it out. While you're busy fighting the most heinous neo Z, keep firing your shurikens into the gaps on either wall. Now this will jam the chains for three seconds. You know if you did it right, because if you jam the chains, you'll hear this sound of creaking wood. Now if you want to keep Naoko alive, you gotta jam the chains every three seconds without fail, or Naoko is no moro. <laughs> Good one, dude. You got the Game Pro T-shirt, and it's in the mail. Now remember, if you want to shoot a hot one at us, put it on tape and send it in. We'll give you the address right at the end of the show. I don't need this anymore. Don't leave the screen because we're coming back with a hot playing tip for Devil's Crush on Game Pro. I'm swatting it. Swat away, bud. Yeah! Secret weapons and tactics. I'm chilling in my SWAT hood with a monster tip on James Pond for the Genesis game system. Check this out. Run this trick if you want to do some serious warping. When you're playing in the first level, head over to the lobster cages and open them all up until you reach the exit. Next, open the exit and then return all the way to the left. Now, just before you get to the end, press down. And whammo, you've warped to level six. Here's a quickie that'll make Devil's Crush for your T16 last a whole lot longer. Because with this special code, you'll start the game with 924 million points and 73 balls. Hey, get out of there. Here it comes. Bring up the password screen and enter the following code. E-F-G-H-I-J-K-L-M-B. That's all there is to it but to do it. There you go, 924 million points and 73 balls. Nice. One more look at that password. review time, so let's check out what the Game Lab goofballs have to say about Battletoads for the Nintendo Game Boy. All right, well said, my friend. Thanks. Dude, the Techno Turcos checked out this one, but good. So here's the story. While partying on Las Vegas, a deep space hangout for Toads on holiday, our three bad boy amphibious skin rashes, Zitz, Rash, and Pimple, get caught up to their eyes in Toadacious trouble. They've been duped by this hot Thalian Thorax dancer. That's a major babe in the Toad world. And she turns out to actually be the evil Dark Queen. And while Rash and Pimple are taken prisoner and hustled away to the planet Armageddon in the Gargantua machine, Zitz manages to escape by the skin of his warts. And he gets aboard the Toadster and burns space back to Armageddon to rescue his stewing Toad buds. And that's gonna be one tough gig to pull off, brah. Now, while this card grants you three lives and three continues, this turns out to just be a spit in the toad pond because the 12 levels of the planet Armageddon can take a lot of life out of a toad. And dude, one minute you're running and jumping to avoid death blows from land creatures like the enraged Psycho Pig or a Shark Tooth Cruncher or the totally disgusting Robomanus Mutant. Then the next thing you know, you're swinging from ropes or riding on a jet ski, dodging logs, rats on rafts, and giant whirlpools. And how did the eggheads rate battle toads? Remember the system, all right, kids? We rate graphics, sound, challenge, and overall fun factor. Now, for starters, awesome multi-scrolling graphics that are totally happening. A major graphics step forward for the Game Boy. Thumbs up! 
It was happening tunes on every level. We got no complaints about the sound on this one. The challenge, Mondo Serioso, Mondo indeed. There's a lot of toe to do with only three lives and three continues in this game, so you best be putting on your gaming gloves. And bud, fun factor depends on what you're made of. If you're into great graphics, if you're into great sound, very gameplay, Major League Challenge, it gets no better than this on the Game Boy! Be warned, difficulty is very intense. It may send some of you players to the Toad Asylum. I don't know, man. Let me, let me see this. You know, I mean, the Game Boy's graphics, they're just not as good as all the other handhelds. What? What? Well, you, don't be dissing Game Boy, buddy. Don't you gotta do it, man. It's just, Boy. it's just not, well, you know, it seems like all you have to do to make a good video game today is kind of like be green. You know, first we had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, then we had Battletoads for the Game Boy. What could possibly be next? Give me one. Uh, Go ahead. Shoot one green out. Stuff? Talk some green. Let's go. Give me some green. Stuff? Okay. How about, um, uh, Geeking Geckos from the planet Gertrude. How about the, the flying lizards from Lancaster? Yeah, Lancaster. Very Lancaster. nice. All right, chill out, man. Let's leave our character design to the pros. And uh, speaking of pros, let's see what our pros had to say about the return of the Cape Crusader in Batman 1.5 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Now the Batster is back, and he brings along with him the ever-popular Joker for another go-round in Gotham City. Now, while you may have seen these two do it to each other before, you have never seen them do it quite so well. The idea is pretty much the same old Batman Joker storyline, with the Bat Dude dedicated to the destruction of the Clown Prince of Crime. By this time, the gamekeepers have laid in a whole new Bat Combat system, which improves upon Batman 1's bare-knuckled fighting. The Cape Crusader has awesome pistols, a Batarang, and a whole lot of other firepower to use in order to knock the Joker off his cathedral perch. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Hey, we know where he gets them. From the game dudes, it's Sunsoft, and they are awesome. A giant bat leap forward in the Batman series of video game carts. Seems the dudes at Sunsoft are using some new special custom computer chip they're putting in the game, and trust me, it works. How'd we rate it? I'm gonna tell you. The graphics are totally excellent, especially when it comes to the visuals of the Batman himself. The size of the characters are nearly three times as big as the original game, and when that bat dude moves around, it is like the real thing. The theme music is happening, with new tunes on every level of the game. While the call from the Commissioner Gordon puts the crime-fighting skills to the test, we gotta say, the weapons are kinda cool, but the first Batman was more of a thumb sprainer than the new version. The fun factor is a five, mostly because the super fresh guns in this game deliver one of the best action games around for your buck. A total winner. <laughs> Seems like every time we show up here to do a show, there's some brand new techie thumb sprainer which out techs whatever technological treat we tried the week before, you know? Easy said for you. Well, we've done it again because today we got a terrific tape of technological treat called Time Traveler, and it's running on hot baby right at the arcade. That's right, bud. Now, Bill's is the first hologram game to reach the arcade. This big, true to life like game puts you in the part of a pistol packing cowboy who's been recruited by the Galactic Federation of Bagdas, renegade scientists from the future. Now, seems that this mad scientist dude has disrupted the time continuum. Your chase covers these seven time sectors going back to 50,000 BC, passing through modern times, and going way forward into 2552. But wherever you go, things are always the same. You've got a whole lot of these bad guys waiting to take you on. You got cavemen and drug dealers and zombies and outlaws and mad magicians, and they materialize out of thin air. So you gotta be really quick on your trigger, right? Now, the game uses real live actors and actresses who move and groove and the cinema quality images that kind of feel like they're in a play rather than on a TV screen. And one nice thing about having control of a time traveler, if you make a fatal error, you can relive the time and then you get a chance to replay the scene. It's Dudley! Very cool game. Well, we gotta say that the action in Time Traveler may not be up to the standards of hardcore down and dirty arcaders. The graphics and wild background effects are a major step forward in techiedom and a really good start on what looks like to be a brand new generation of hologram style arcade games. So get in line. Get in line indeed. You're up first, man. Go for it. Thank you, my friend. There you go.
Whoa, man. I'm Jim Hakola, and on Space Harrier for the TurboGrafx-16, I scored 31,265,570. Hi, I'm Alan Hofstetter from San Francisco, California. I have completed Ultima Quest of the Avatar for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm Keith Bond from Mount Ohio, and I'm Jack Nicholas Turbo Golf. For my TurboGrafx-16, I scored a 58, which is 14 under par. Mega scores, dude! Your Game Pro subscription is in the mail and on its way. And remember, if you want to win, you got to send them in. 16-bit super stuff when we return with Gradius 3. So put it on chill, because we'll return to Game Pro. Time for SWAT World! Yeah! I am out of here. Close it up. Okie doke. Whoa. Secret weapons and tactics. Hey, what's up, Mario? How's the weather down there? <laughs> now, you know how I love to revisit the classics from time to time here in SWAT World. So how about a trip down memory lane with the always popular Super Mario for the NES? Take a look at the classic flagpole trick. Watch. You can control the number of firework explosions you get at the end of a level. When you reach the flagpole, watch your timer. If the right-hand digit is a six when you jump for the pole, you'll get six firework explosions. If the right hand digit is a three, you'll get three explosions. This may be an oldie, but I figure you can never get too much of a good thing. We've got a trick in Journey of Silius for the NES that'll double your fun. Check this out! First, bring up the title screen. Now, press button B 33 times. That's right, I'm not kidding. 33 times. Then, hit the start button. You can now raise your continues up to 9 and check out all the sounds as well. What's up, man? Yeah, I don't know. The SNES continues to grab the attention of gamers everywhere, and the Game Lab Gonzos are burning it at all ends to keep up with the new carts for this exciting new system. I speak the facts. For sure. <laughs> Thank you. Now, after all, they want to be sure that you get the real deal info on where to spend those hard-to-come-by bucks, right? Very hard to earn. Very, very hard. Indeed. So this week, we got the goods on two brand new carts for the SNES, Gradius 3 and Super R-Type. Now, we thought we'd shoot them to you in a quick rundown so you'd really know what's up in video gaming. Very smart of you. Thank you. Look, <laughs> the peaceful people of planet Gradius are under extreme attack from the heinous dudes living in the Bacterian Empire. Your mission is to man the modulated artillery exalter known as Max and then fight off the Bacterian baddies, okay? Now, your goal, save Gradius and its surrounding planet. Now, while this may be true that you've pretty much seen the movie and the ongoing Gradius video game saga, there's something truly radical that's happening here, and I am not joshing you. You've never seen this before, so check it out. For the first time, you can customize the game to suit your own strategies. You're stoked! Stoked! You can assign the buttons on your joypad so that you can choose which button controls firing, which one powers up. And even more awesome is the edit mode, which lets you specifically design the max weapon system by choosing from a selection of lasers and a variety of shields. Totally and completely excellent. Now, once you put together a dream team of weapons and shields, you've got about 10 levels of action with Mondo bosses at the end of each one, okay? I think you're going to have to go for this one, dude, if for no other reason than just check out how it feels to program your own destiny. You know, that's really tough. I always wanted a game where I could pick my own things to do, you know what I mean? Same here, bud. That must be ESP or something. All right. 
let's break down the new CART Super R-Type. Now, you might remember the R9 Space Fighter from those R-Type games for the Sega and Game Boy systems, or you might even remember from the arcade game. Well, this old Space Fighter's back to challenge and destroy the Bido Empire, and dude, he has been overhauled big time. Remember the awesome mega blast you used to get out of the R9 when you held down the fire button? Hey, that's nothing anymore, because you're not going to believe what you get now. Yeah, well, you still get the mega blast. But if you keep your thumb down on the button a little longer, check out the devastating energy spheres that obliterate just about everything on the screen. Very nice. The dudes at IRAM who make this game told us it took four programmers, five artists, three music programmers, and an editor nine months to create Super R-Type. Wow, it really shows, let me tell you. This card has some of the best game graphics ever. Oh, yeah, I gotta warn you. If you give up easy or burn out at a low flashpoint, you might want to pass Super R-Type on to your dog, because this one is as tough as it gets. Get hurt! Move it or you lose it, bud! There's a lot more coming next! I'm Kevin Maynard from Gilbert, Pennsylvania, and I have a hot tip for all you Game Pro viewers. Here's how to find the secret passageways in the Genesis card, Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion. In level 1 1, jump down from the second angle ledge and go underground. The first passageway to the left has a false wall that Mickey can pass through. At the end of the passageway, there's a bunch of bonus goodies. In level 3 1, there's an identical secret passageway just before you go underground. Do the same as you did in level 1 1, and you'll find another false wall and treasure. Hey, thanks for the SWAT, dude. And to show our appreciation, we've sent you a Game Pro t-shirt. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And that wraps up today. We'll catch you next week with some more Game Pro goodies. Yeah. And uh, while we're out here, be sure to keep the postman popping with all your questions and viewer tips. Here comes the address. Oh, right there. Game Pro. P.O. Box 1678, Venice, California, 90291. I'm J.D. Roth. See you next week. Peace. Hi, everybody. I'm Kathy Lee Gifford, and, uh, you know, Reach hasn't been around for the last few days, and although I've really enjoyed having Robin Leach and Dana Carvey around, i got to admit I've missed Reach. All right, I have. So be sure to join me and Reach online. Monday at 9. Right here on Channel 7. And that about does it for Game Pro TV for this Friday, folks. Uh, it sucks that we didn't get the full credit scene for that episode, but what can you do? This was rec recorded on VHS back in the day, so we're gonna get started with our uh, next and final hour of the stream with uh, more of Video Power. Now, Video Power, for those of out for those of you out there that don't know, the first season of Video Power was when um, Johnny Arcade would give out tips and hints and tricks while also uh, showing a cartoon that had a lot of video game char characters that were... Uh, published by Acclaim back in the day. Uh, and that cartoon was called The Power Team. And for the second season of Video Power, the entire show was reformatted for a game show format, which is what we have been taking a look at here for the past couple of weeks, so. And, uh, before I forget, a Video Power was kind of a precursor to Nick Arcade, in a way, so. There's also that tidbit of knowledge to throw out there for you folks, so. Without any further ado, let's continue to check out the crazy and sometimes uh weird antics of johnny arcade with more of season two of video power
He's late for one now. Say hello to Johnny Arcade! All right. Thank you, thank you, Terry, and thank you, Steve. Let's hear it for them both. Yeah. What a show we have got for all of you today. Mere words alone couldn't begin to express how great it's going to be, so I guess I'll do some animal noises. to my trusty hedgehog and press the power activator button just like so terry oh hey today's video yeah. power edge is brought to you by milk that's right milk it does a body good okay today's show promises to be the best yet and that's no lie don't take my word folks come back after this and judge for yourself video power will be right back and now more video power Hey guys, I'm back and I'm gonna give WrestleMania a pounding like it's never had before. <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating a bit, but I've got some neat stuff for you all on the Video Power Edge. Yeah. All right, WrestleMania fans, here are some ring tips that'll ring up some big advantages for you when you're grappling in the ring. One thing that must not be overlooked when you're wrestling is your energy meter. It shows you and your opponent's energy and whenever you prepare to use a power move, keep in mind that if it fails, to defeat your opponent, you may be left with an energy loss that'll lead to your humiliating pin and defeat. <laughs> now, keep in mind that every wrestler you have is uh, in this game owns a power move. Not every opponent is going to succumb to your power move, however, so here's a tip. Try your power move once or twice. If it doesn't phase your opponent, go to another move. If you persist with using your ineffectual power move, you'll be using a all your energy and opening yourself up to a pin. It's easy as that. And whenever possible, stand behind your opponent. Okay, now that is the video power edge. I've cleared the edge, uh, but now it's time for Terry to put me on the spot. So let me see those guys do it, huh? Hey, it must be that time again, because all these kids are going nuts. So it must be time to put the spot on Johnny by putting Johnny on the spot. That's right, we're gonna stump this guy. I think we did it yesterday, let's try again today and let's look for a likely contestant, or an unlikely one. It doesn't, how about you, sir? Stand up if you would, what's your name? Daniel. That's correct, Daniel. Well, let's go two for two. You got a question for Johnny Arcade? Yes. Um, what video character's car has the initials PW? Okay, the video vehicle of which you speak is the massive missile pack mobile driven by those non-stop party animals, the Ninja Turtles. PW stands for their Party wagon that provides them with two little transportation. Yes. How are you today? Good. And your name? Dawn. Dawn, where do you go to school? Most Christian Blood. Where? Most Christian Blood. Is that a Catholic school? Oh, uh, yes. Do you know my friend Kevin Murray? I think he. Oh, never mind. You got a question for Johnny Arcade? Yes. In what video game is the Bloody Moth? Okay, well, the Bloody Moth is the Ninja Gaiden character who fought Ryu's dad long ago in a duel, not to be confused with the popular cherry milkshake, the Bloody Malt. <laughs> That's excellent. Two for two. Good for you. And I got a lady by the name of Patience. Is that right? Yes. Okay, and did you bring a question for Johnny Arcade? Yes, I did. What Mega Man monster has one Y in his name and one I in his head? One Y and one I? Okay, okay. Uh, a little patience here, patience. Ah, 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 ah. Um, let me see. Why I have no idea. Wait I don't know. What? what? I don't is know. That? You is that stumped stump? me. Huh? You stumped me. Did we stump okay. him? Yeah, you stumped me. I think we did. Yeah. How about it? Patience stumped the guy. I got something for you. Oh, boy. I got something for you. Let's, uh, let's smash with a gnash. Yeah. Hey, congratulations there. You stumped Johnny Arcade. Ah, Great. Come on. Next question. Come on. Who 
Who wants to go next here? Let's try you here. Sir, what's your name? Josh. Josh, you, you sound a little unsure about that. Are you sure, Josh? Yes. Excellent. Go ahead with your question, Josh. In Castlevania Three, who can use both fire and ice as a weapon? Ah, the three spirit whose fearsome forces run hot and cold is Sypha. Sypha Dolmades can battle it out with flaming fireballs one minute and then ice crystals the next. Sypha's a frightful spite who can smite you with might. But now, let's test our brightness and might in today's Power Challenge fight. So come on down the floor. Come on! Before these four get down to a ravishing WrestleMania Power Challenge, we have got a break for an ad. Video Power will be right back. And now, more Video Power. Hey, it's a regular tag team situation here. Two on two. Except it's really one on one on one on one because there are no friends here. Only backstabbing brutes who would love nothing more than to see you fall and collapse while they stomp on your inner body. Oh, Rodney, you're a loser! No, I'm only kidding. Uh, in a uh, interest of friendly competition, of course. Uh, we've got GLOW, you know, gorgeous ladies of wrestling against the WWF here, okay? Only two of you can go on to the Video Power Challenge, and uh, well, the way we choose which two is to uh, let yourself do battle in the Video Power Play. Two minutes and two seconds of WrestleMania will separate the macho men from the macho boys or the girls in this matter. Oh, yeah. Elizabeth, I love you. Okay, so uh, video warriors, climb aboard. Grab your controllers. On your marks. Get set. Play it! Yeah, you won't see this on Oprah today, and there's a good reason why. Let's check in with the number four position. By gosh, it's Josh. And take a look now. Each one of our players today is taking on the computer, who is Hulk Hogan, of course. These guys are all the ultimate warriors, so all four score. Look at Josh is already thrown Hulk Hogan right out of the ring. Excellent move. He tossed him right out of the ring, but Hulk is coming back with a body smash. Oh, in the backside. Will he take him into the ring? Yes. Up against the turnbuckles. He's bouncing around. Oh, he is down, but he's not out. Oh, he's taking a blow or two. Unbelievable. And let's check out if patience really is. Uh-oh. You can see she's taking a beating, too. This is a tough round, a lot of heat. Hulk Hogan is tough. Each one of our characters, remember, is playing as the ultimate warrior. And now you can see her score. Her lifeline is very low, and this is hurting patience right now. Pressing along that on her thumb as she's moving as quickly as possible. And let's move on as we're less than a minute to play. Okay, today, it's our Lady Dawn. Uh-oh, we've got somebody out. You can see the Hulk prancing around, dancing around, feeling confident. Confidence is very high, but here's Dawn. Dawn is coming back now as the ultimate ultra warrior going back into the show her lifeline is looking pretty good dropping a few though and let's go right down to the number one position look out at this man dan oh dan has taken some awful hits some serious trouble for dan and let's move on to dan here we go dan is being pinned as we speak right now lifeline dropping out paul Hogan is squeezing the life out of dan it's big trouble for the man dan into the next round let's see if we can find a winner shall we over here, Josh is in good shape. Big lifeline, looking good. Over here, Patience, big lifeline. She may have taken an earlier hit. It could be Patience in there, but look out for Dawn again. She is still in trouble. Right now, it appears our leaders are Josh and Patience. With less than 10 seconds to play, the audience is counting it down. Here's our current two leaders, according to the judges. It looks like it could be Josh. And it also looks like it could be Patience. They're both pulling out some serious points in this last round of play. But today, who's going to be the big winners? Let's take a look and see how the judges call it. The judges are looking at one thing. It's a lifeline down over here. Now, Ultimate Warrior. Oh, Don drops out of play. Dan's still up. Patience still in there so far. Josh drops out of play. Two big winners. Patience, we predicted. Here's the big surprise. Our man, Dan. Two big winners go on to play. You guys have the highest point total. Oh, yeah. This is my Elizabeth. Oh, yeah. I'm going to open the ring for you. Good, slip through. Make, uh, oh, yeah, you went through it. Okay, great. Okay, here we go. You guys have the highest point total, so you'll be going on to the video power challenge. Now, go back there and put those vests on. Okay, good luck to you. Hey, Josh. Hey, John. You have nothing to worry about. I mean, you did a good job. You showed us you can wrestle and vessel. You got RoboCop for you. You got RoboCop for, oh, yeah, do a spin for me. Do another. Do another. I love watching you spin. Oh, my. Here you go. Do you take this home with you? Thanks a lot for coming down. All right.
Why don't we check out the Power Picks round right now? Oh my! Oh my! Yes, I'm up. Here we go, you guys. Thought you could get me down, didn't you? Okay, I'd like to know who your favorite wrestler is. Um, I'm Ravishing Rick Rude. Ravishing Rick Rude? Yeah. yeah, you like his body? How about mine? You like mine? Huh? <laughs> like it? Don't worry, you don't... It's, we're on television, you can talk to me after. Okay, how about you? Who's your favorite wrestler? Big Boss Man. Big Boss Man? Ah, you like that guy? It's the... Yeah. Boy, oh, whole girl, I'm getting you down! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Power picks time. Yeah, I've got five questions here, fellas. The first two in the music question are worth ten points. The fourth question is worth twenty points. Fifth question isn't worth any points. It is worth this. Mega Man! three for you if you get it right but right now here we go question number one what is the name of ravishing rick rude's awesome finishing hold nobody okay now the three multiple choice answers and only one of you guys has a shot now a the roto rooter b the body count or c the rude awakening yeah c c the rude awakening is correct and the 10 pizza points All right there. All right there, Josh. Here we go. Here we go. Now, people say that education and wrestling don't go together, but they're so wrong, huh? Which wrestler in WrestleMania 2 comes last alphabetically? Josh, patience, nobody. Okay, now the three multiple choice answers, and only one of you guys has a shot now. A, Ravishing Rick Rude. B, The Ultimate Warrior. Or C, Zeki Jess. The Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior is correct. And 10 points go to Patience. All right, buddy, here we go. Question number three. You're into music there, Patience? What kind of music do you like? Um, pop. Pop, and you? Rap. Well, pop and rap is what my man Steve knows. He's going to hit a little video game tune for you. You know the tune? He gets the 10 pizza points. Easy. Hit it, Steve. A, pay yes. Um, WrestleMania? WrestleMania is the correct answer. And yes, my little Hogan, you have got the 10 points. Okay, looks like you are the big boss man now because you got 20 and she's got 10, but don't worry because this one is worth 20 mushroom points. Ow! Here we go. Three, three, three of the wrestlers in WrestleMania 2 carry weapons around with them. Name all three of those weapons. Tuffy. Okay. A, nightstick guitar megaphone. B, nightstick cane and zapper. Or C, nightstick barber's scissors and a two by four. Nobody. The correct answer was C, nightstick scissors, two by four. You know, oh! Axel Jim Duggan, oh! Boom, boom. No, nobody gets the 20 points. That goes over to Sarah Murray, who drew this. Beautiful thing for me. This is this is me. This is, it looks like me. Johnny Ark. Hey, cool. Okay, here we go. Sarah, I love you. Here we go. Uh, oh, oh, it makes me feel so warm. Okay, here we go. Take a look at my finger. Take a look at the screen. Do you know what I mean? Okay, take a look at the screen. In a few seconds, a video game will come up. You name that video game, and you get that Mega Man 3 cartridge. Hit it, Chris! Yeah! Top Gun? Top Gun is incorrect. Show a little bit more for my man right here. Is it A, Flight of the Intruder, B, Flying Warriors, or C, Flies Open? No! No, the correct answer was A, Flight of the Intruder. Oh! Oh! So, Mega Man 3 goes to Terry. Hope you don't have this, buddy, because you do now. A.K.A. J.A. Here we go. Let's add up the scores. Patience, you've got to. But you, my man, big boss man, has got the 20 points, and he is the Power Picks leader. He is the leader, so let's hear it for him. Let's hear it for Jason. All right. Hey, just like the WWF gold, once you're on top, everybody's gunning for you. So if you want to keep the lead and head into the Power Mall with all its fabulous prizes, you'll have to wail out on the final power play, guys. You understand me? But we will get to that final power play, which is worth 50 points, by the way, which will decide this, guys, right after these ads. So stick around for more video power, will you? You will. Good. Video power will be right back. And now, more video power. Yes, we are back, and we have the gorgeous lady of wrestling and the big boss man himself. Yes, those were fabulous ads, but now it's time for some fabulous ads on the bodies of these powerful people of wrestling. 61 cents shattering second stand between each of these two arcade maniacs and total grappling greatness. One will forever be branded Camel Clutch, the other as a total 
Joe Cold artist. 50 points will go to the winner and the loser. Well, hey, you know, he should be happy that he gets the points that he already has on his vest, right? Yes, we are fair here at Video Power. Now, guys, on your marks, get set, play ball! Once again, we apologize for the following video weirdness, but it's head-to-head -head competition with this lady, Patience. She's the number two lady right over here, kind of tan over there, in the corner. Now off the turnbuckle, she goes into the screen. Oh, off the ropes, a good little move. Oh, she takes him out right away. And that means a man, Dan, takes a hit from the lady, Patience. Right now, she's taking the current lead. You're watching our leading lady, Patience, but she's got to get back in the ring. Can she do her thing? Oh, she's way out of the ring, and she's trying to dance back in time. WrestleMania Challenge, who will be the ultimate winner? Hard to say. Let's go with the show, and here we go. It's rematch number two, back in the match. And here we go, along the way, you can see both power lines for both players. Except for Dan, he's got just one of those power bars down, and that means so far, Patience is taking on just a little slight lead there. With less than 15 seconds to play, who will win? So far, leading lady could be this lady, Patience. Check it out! What about? She is moving in time. Oh, they both slam each other, but nobody was there to take the punishment. In the meantime, it's head-to-head -head competition at its best. Woo! Talking about their best, who's going to do it today? This is very, very close round. Now, Dan had some late moves there that may have saved the day. But over here, Patience, well, you can see how well she was making those moves. But you know what? She dropped out. Lights out. Sorry about that. Big winner, the man, Dan. Yeah. Danny, my man. Boom. Put that down. Let's check out the scores right here. Trying to hide from me here. We've got 50, 60, 70 patients you have 10. Don't worry there because this man is the video power of challenge champion. Yeah. Yeah! And hey, now I've already told you uh, 63 and a half times what you're going to get for today's great win. So now I'm going to let Terry tell you guys what you've won. Among other prizes, some of our departing guests will receive the copy of RoboCop. And now for you, some promotional considerations. Hey, the fun never ends with Zabbit. Be wise, motorized. Zabbit comes complete with disappearing liquids. The color disappears, but the fun never ends. Zabbit from Tyco. Get the most out of your next party with a Konica Kampai camera. One of the world's very first voice-activated cameras that automatically takes pictures in response to your sound. It's all from Konica. Hershey's syrup on ice cream is a favorite summertime treat. And look for the full line of Hershey's toppings for the great Hershey taste on ice cream. Oh, nice round of competition head-to-head. -head. Come on over here, patients. Wow, you tried to pull it off there. You had Dan in the corner, and then, ooh, he came back. But we've got some great shopping for you. We sure do for you, patience. We have Kabuki, Quantum Fighter, and Ishido. Ishido, Ishido, Ishido. I even throw in my private copy of Mega Man 3 and for Mega you there, patience. For you. <laughs> All right. Yes. Hey, come on over here. Dan, you pulled it off there. You're a pretty good wrestler, are you? Yeah. Yeah? What's your best video game? Rescue Rangers. Well, I think you can find Rescue Rangers in the mall today, and I know if you find this, the game you just played, WrestleMania, the challenge, if you find that, check out the prize Steve has got for you today. Tyco Radio Control Fun and one-on-one -on -one backboard basketball fun. Are you ready to be in? You're going to take a real run through the mall? Yeah. Go for it all. Here we go. It starts in just five, four, three, two, one. It's me gone. Here goes Dan. He takes the battle zones right away. He spotted that one. And now a pack on the side, he grabs the Immortal, one of his favorite games. And now down below, he's on the go. He goes for more. Hey, hey, this using his head. And now instead, he goes around for a Batman, too. Uh-oh, dropped one down, but he will go right on shopping. As he works his way to the other side of that head there, that must be the other side of the brain there. Okay, now he's going to head for the top as time is running out. He's had less than 15 seconds to play. Okay, does he shoot the works? Does he go through the mouse hole? Yes, he goes to the top of the shop. He's got final seconds to roll. He's got to make it in time down the tube. And here he goes. Yes, he grabs it. He's back. Four prizes on the way down. And here he comes. Woo, prizes and all. Come on up here, man. What a shopping mall experience you took on today. His first prize right away, he takes Arquista's ring. And what else do we got for him? Check this out, Johnny. It's Battletoads. Journey of Silius. The Immortal. He takes home Dragon Warrior 2 and Batman. Oh, but there's more on the floor. <laughs> Tec Tec Tecmo World Wrestling that we're wrestling with right here. Here's game number eight for Game Boy, Roland's Curse. Here's uh, another Arquisa's ring for his friend. And, of course, the Game Handler, one-handed control for you. East pack full of prizes. 
Dude, you are a big winner, and he's coming back for our show on Friday. I hope you come back for more fun on this big half hour of video power. Hey, thanks for watching. Hey, bud, if you want me to do some tips from your favorite video games, or you just want to appear on the show, write to me in five words or more in 21 to 15 seconds on the greatest video game show in the universe, Video Power. Just write to Video Power, PO Box 896 Madison Square Station, New York, New York, 10159. Video Power is not affiliated with the manufacturers of any video game system or product. It does not recommend or promote any particular video game system or product. Video power. Video power, power. Video power, power. My show is kicking with maximum height. Say video power. Yeah, that's the right word. I've got the ability to make you win. You want the edge? I'll push the power surge. Let her rip. TV's big half hour of video power. And now here's that guy who decided to let his hair turn gray just like that guy Bob Barker. Say hello to Johnny Arcade! <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Thank you, Terry. And it's compliments like that that make me pop a wheelie. And thank you, Steve. Thank you very much. So let's give this jiving juggernaut juiced up and ready to rev, huh? I'll strut over to the edge hug I am right now in here and see where it takes me today. I'll just press the power activator button and go. Today's Video Power Edge is brought to you by Toys R Us, the world's biggest video game store with hundreds of great games just waiting to be played. So check it out for yourself today. That's Toys R Us. Today's Video Power Edge is not for the weak of heart. It's Robocop tips all this week on the Video Power Edge. But now, grab your remote and don't drop it. We'll be right back. Video Power will be right back. More Video Power. All right, thank you very much. Greetings, buds. Hey, you are looking for something, and I think I know what it is. You want some more Robocop tips. Hey, I hear you, buddy. That's why I am ready to go to the Video Power Edge. I changed my mind. I think I'm going to do edges on checkers and chess. Not ah, chess kidding. <laughs> I may have a checkered past, but I'm bored with board games. So what will I do? Robocop 1, naturally. And because I'm in a good mood, I'm going to share a little inside info with you. There is a way to get infinite continues in Robocop 1, and here's how to do it. Once you have lost your three lives, hold down the A, B, select, and start buttons at the same time. You'll find yourself switched to the main title screen with Robocop in big letters. Move your cursor over to continue, and lo and behold, you return to the last level where you left off. Now moving on, here's a frustrating little dilemma you just may find yourself in. The little, the city hall level. Uh, here's this room with like a moving wall of spikes on the left. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Well, there's no door, so it seems like you're trapped, right? You can destroy the spikes by punching them, but another wall will appear and you're back. 
back where you started from. How do you escape the horns of this dilemma? Here's how. Kneel next to the right wall and punch as fast as you can. A secret passageway will open. Duck down through it and you're safely away from the spikes and on your way to the mayor's office. And now I'm on my way out of here, but I'll have more RoboCop tomorrow on the Video Power Edge. And so here we are together again, ready to kick off another big week. All right, that's what I like to hear. All this week, I've got edge tips for RoboCop. So, hey, you'll be well advised to tune in and spoon into those edges. Coming up soon, just over the Video Power Horizon, is another incredible week of the Video Power Challenge with four new contestants ready to give their all on McPaul for fame and prizes. But now, they got to put me on the spot, so let's see it then, guys. Hey, thanks, Johnny. You know, it must be that time because of all this, to put the spot on Johnny by putting Johnny on the spot. Believe it or not, once again today, we have found four contestants to put that Johnny guy on the stump. And we're going to do it right away, picking out four contestants. Who's ready to go here? Anybody? You? Yeah? What's your name, sir? Nicholas. All right, Nicholas, you got a question for Johnny? Go ahead. In Master Blaster, who is the ultimate boss to beat? Okay, Nick, everybody loves beating the bosses. Even the great arcade sometimes gets the urge to smack his video power producers with a huge, juicy watermelon. Beating bosses is fun, but in Blaster Master, the ultimate boss to beat is definitely the powerful putrid plutonium boss. Yeah. All right, All right Nick. That was pretty good, but I got my money on you, man. You got to come up with a big stump. You ready to go? What's your name? Nicholas. Now, that's this guy. You can't take... Okay, go ahead, Nicholas. What day does Paperboy end on? Okay, the arcade won't be dazed with a question about days of the week. I'm no weakling. Ha, 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 weak. Uh, Paperboy's paper uh, plight begins at the beginning of the work week, uh, which is Monday. He rides, rolls, dodges, and delivers all through the week until the day. That's better for rest than all the rest. Sunday. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we got a Nick, we got a Nicholas, and all we need is a Nicole. Who are you? Hey, Nicole. Nicole. Nah, come on, you're... Are you really? Oh. All right, go ahead. You got a question for Johnny Arcade, don't you? Uh-huh. In Double Dragon 2, name one special thing about Hyper Upper Kick and High Knee Kick that they both have in common. Well, you've named a pair of double dynamite, double dragon moves, dragon fan. The hyper uppercut is the perfect cut for the hyper fighter, and the uh, high knee kick is the perfect plan for pounding your fearless foe's high knee. <laughs> But to make either of these super special and doubly deadly moves effective, you must be in a squatting position. Get down to deliver, question giver. Right. Yes. Our last guy here, what's your name? Tony Vitale. All right, Tony, put him on the spot. Take it away, buddy. Okay. And Robocop, what happens when you pick up a weapon that you already have? Well, you ask about one of the great miracles on Earth. Video visionary. You know, it was pretty cool when Moses parted the waters of the Red Sea, but for a real miracle, check out what happens in Robocop when you pick up a weapon that you already have. In a flash, all the ammunition for that weapon is replenished. It's incredibly moving. Now, why don't you pull start moving down here for today's Video Power Challenge? Come on down, guys. Okay, while they get ready to mangle and maul, listen to this from the folks who are responsible for this all. Yes! Video Power will be right back. And now, more Video Power. Hey, welcome back! These four fresh freckled faces fellows are facing the forthcoming fight that will fill them with fear and from which few of them will feel the, the, uh, that, I can't keep up with this. That's all, folks. The video power play where these four gamers will crash through Robocop until only two of them are left standing. Those two will go on to the power picks and oh, so much more. Are you happy to be here, guys? Yeah. yeah. Are you guys happy to be here? Yeah, yeah so am I. And so is Terry and so is Steve and so is everybody. But if they can't thwart the criminal element, they will be booked, printed, and taste some bitter justice themselves. That's the truth, Clyde. So don't be snide. Oh, don't slide. Or you'll look back at this as the day you cried. You don't want to cry, do you? No. Well, all right. Let's grunt. Come on. Arr, 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 on your mark. Get set. Arr, go. We're kicking in to take you to RoboCop right now. This is one of the easier levels in the game. But Robocop has got his work cut out for him. He's got to clean up the street, and he's got a lot of problems here. He's got street thugs to deal with and much more. As we work our way down through the streets, this is our man Tony in the number four position. Now, Tony's keeping his concentration, leading into the street. You can see thugs already giving him lots of trouble here. Now, he's taking these guys out. He has chosen a weapon here that'll help him work his way through the streets. 
All right, as he moves down the line, you can see a lot of trouble here down below. But now as we move down to our lady, Nicole, she has already picked up a score of 1240. And Tony's looking at 2140 now. Nicole's picking up the pace as well. She's taking them out low. She's got some uh, motorcycle guys to deal with. These guys are really tough because they come right back at you. He's taking out these enemies along the way. A couple of mean dogs here and some guys that will jump you from the top. So you got to watch every direction in this game of RoboCop. Here's Nick now. Look at the trick that Nick's got. He's up to 2790, now jumping up to 2830 and looking good. We're at a one minute to play here, and he's checking his backside. Remember, these guys can come at you from any which direction. That's exactly Exactly what we're doing. Moving down the line, you're currently watching Nicholas. Not to be confused with Nick, of course. Nicholas is way up there at 4,500 points out, building the more. Can he pull up a score? Yes, he does. He's up to 46.40. Now, let's see if we can find a winner with less than 40 seconds to play. Chicken down here in the number four position, Tony. Tony looking at 35, now 36.20 and building to more. Our lady, Nicole, she's at 32.70. 32.70, now working her way up. Current leader, you're watching him. That's the man, Nicholas. He's picked up now to 63.40. 6,600 now. Unbelievable score down here with Nick. He's stuck at 36-10. A little bit of pressure, a little bit of problems. Over here, it's Nicole now. 36 even. 42-70 now. Look out for Tony. He's picking up the pace. Dealing with some trouble up above. And he takes him out. 42-70 now. Building the more. Down here, Nicole. Now she picks up some points in time. 42-60. She's still in the race. Down along the end. 41-70 from Nick. But look out for a leader, Nicholas. Way up there with 85-60. Excellent score. Let's check all four and see if we can find a couple leaders on the board there. Was Nicholas our leader? Nick over here with 42.20 down along the way. Here's a 49.20 from Tony, and over here Nicole 44.90. Oh, drops out of the play. Tony still up. Nick is in there. Oh, he drops out. Two big winners. It's Nicholas and Tony. To you, Johnny. Tony. Nick. Our last. We've got Nick. Nicholas. Okay. Well, you guys have the highest point totals. Shake hands. So you'll be going on to the video power challenge now. Get back there and strap those vests on. Terry, show them exactly what you gotta do. Nick. And Nick with the hole, Nicole. And uh, let me see what you've got. You've got wampum. Are you happy? Are you happy? Wampum. Hey, man, smile. Smile. Hey, yeah. It's great to be here on Video Power. Don't worry. I think your bus is leaving. Go, go, catch it. Go, go. Hey, no, don't get under the bus. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Let's go check out the Power Fix round. Terry, thank you, my man. Hey, you guys did great. You into RoboCop? Yeah. Into RoboCop? You like yeah. RoboCop? Yeah, you did great out there. I mean, whoever taught you to be so good? For my 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 tips? I give you tips on it? Or? Yeah. Yeah, you did. How about you? Me? Me? It was all me. Cool. Well, now it's time to rest your wrist but strain your brain with the video power picks. What is the power picks? It's when you have to answer questions about... Me answer things? questions or you no, answer? me. Hopefully. You? You understand yeah. everything? Okay, then I won't have to explain it. Or should I? Yeah, I'll explain it. What the hey? Uh, I've got four questions here. The first two and the music question are worth 10 points. The fourth and final question is worth 20 points. First one to answer gets first crack at the answer. That person is incorrect. The second person gets to answer. You guys are down with that, huh? Hands on buzzers. You guys are all ready. Okay, now question number one. <laughs> Robocop one, what's the best weapon to use against Ed 209? Yes. <laughs> yep. Cobra? Cobra is correct, and the 10 pizza points <laughs> are yeah. yours. Yeah. Question number two. Before he became RoboCop, our metallic man, yes. Officer Murphy. Officer Murphy is incorrect. I shall repeat the question, and the three multiple choice answers are for you, but don't answer until I'm done. Before he became RoboCop, our metallic man of the hour used to be a human cop with an Irish name for 10 points. Give me the name of the drug RoboCop wants to destroy in RoboCop 2. A, splat, B, grog, or C, nuke. Yes. Nuke. C, nuke is correct, and the 10 pizza points are his. <laughs> question number three, musical question. Do you like music? Yes. Do you like music? Great. Play music, and you answer, and you get 10 pizza points. Yes. Chippendale. Chippendales is, yes, we will accept that. Yes, rescue rangers, and the 10 points. <laughs> Are yours fourth and final question worth how many points? 20. Yes, great. Okay, listen to the multiple choice and tell me which two Robocop enemies suck lots of energy if he touches them. A, Kane and Murphy. B, Robocop 2 and the dogs. Or C, Robocop 2 and Scrooge McDuck. A. A is incorrect. The correct answer was B, Robocop 2 and the dogs. And this 20 points goes to... 
Eric, thank you. Okay, now, fifth question. It's not a question at all. It is what you have to do here. Look at this screen. Tell me what game you see, and it's a prize for you. I'll tell you what prize when you get it. Hit it! Yeah! Metal Mac? Metal Mac is correct, and you get American Gladiators. You like that? Great. Yeah. Come on. Ready? Go. Ah. No. Okay. Just, uh, I watch the Gladiators all the time. Sorry. Well, let's add up the scores here. We've got Tony with 20, Nicholas with 10. Tony is the video power picks leader. Let's hear it for him. Uh, let's hear it for Tony. Let's hear it for Nicholas. Yeah. We've got these ads coming up, but don't you come up rare because we'll be right back with the last 61 seconds of the exciting Video Power Challenge. Yeah! Video Power will be right back. Now, more Video Power. Keep saying it. Keep saying it, guys. Shh, shh. Everyone, everyone, shh, shh. Go ahead, guys. Keep saying it, guys. More, more. Yes, I gave it to you. How do you feel? Right. Yes. Well, let's do this then. Whoa, I really missed you for those couple of minutes. <laughs> get your head out of there. What are you trying to do, huh? But at long last, I get to embrace you again. Televisually, of course. And our reunion is just in time for you to see the final power play, which these guys, Tony and Nicholas, are going to do right now. They have a lot to say about a lot of things. So right now, guys... Don't break Kevin's rule number one. Watch me. Okay. <laughs> On your mark. Get set. Hey, look at me, buddy. Nicholas, yes, yes. Come on. Turn around. Great. On your mark. Get set. Go! We're going to take you to RoboCop 2. Now, here's the deal. We're going to take you to the streets of New York. And now, RoboCop is a real good guy. He's going to clean up the streets, no problem at all. There's one thing he's got to clean up, and that's a bad drug called Nuke. All right? Now, you can arrest these guys by going up and being RoboCop and just touching the guys. And you can see RoboCop 2 already. The graphics are a little more exciting here as he works, works his way through the streets. Got to take out these assorted street thugs, right? All right. <laughs> as he takes out the trouble down below, you can watch the screen up above. Now, this shows you how many thugs this guy takes out here. As he works his way down, Oh, excellent job as he battles with less than 30 seconds to go. You are currently watching Nicholas, and now we're back over to Nick. But let's pick up his points over here. You can see he's dealing with a, a game over. That means his lifeline has been struck low, and that hurts. That means it looks like Tony can take it all the way here. Tony keeps his concentration battling those assorted bad guys, those assorted, assorted thugs. Try the ones with chocolate. They're much better. Here we go. He's taking out the guys here. Already he said earlier we saw that Nicholas lost his lifeline. Started the game over. He'll try to replay those points in time, but I don't think he'll have a chance to catch up with Nicholas. Only the judges can tell for sure. Let's take a look now. We got each screen up. The judges are calculating each score, and they're also looking at those lifelines. Both screens still up. Oh, Nicholas drops out. Our instincts were right. Tony is a big winner in this round of play. Yeah. Sonny, Sonny, you are so good. Oh, my. Let's see this. 50, 60, 70 for Tony and American Gladiators pack. You, my man, Nick, have 10. But, hey, you're getting some great stuff, and Terry is going to tell you exactly what that is right now. Terry. Well, I got to tell you, nobody walks away empty-handed. In fact, some of our departing guests earlier, among other prizes, will receive wampum. Yes, that's wampum. And now we're going to take on a few promotional considerations. Here's some cool news just for you. You know, fun and fresh natural deodorant is for boys and girls like active kids like you. You can have fun and stay fresh. That's fun and fresh. Uh-huh. You can get the most out of your next party with a Kanika Kampai camera. One of the world's first voice-activated cameras automatically takes pictures in response to sound from Kanika. Ride through Crazy Land, a wild amusement park in your NES. Join Dewey on his trip to Crazy Land safari carnivals and roller coasters to rescue his girlfriend from evil kidnappers. That's Crazy Land. Come on over here, you crazy guys. And big winners, oh! Place winner right here and the Video Power Challenge champion right here. That'd be Tony. the man right there. Yes, good job, buddy. Okay, Terry, tell well, them your juice. I got to tell you, man, we got some great prizes for you as well. I don't know what you're going to pick, Johnny, but get Neither something really well, good here. I guess I'll find out right now. Uh, how about Arch Rivals? Yeah, Tyrone, my main man. Oh, and uh, I die, die, I die, 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 die. Harmony for Game Boy. Oh, yeah. Choice. Bam. Right. Okay, well, hey. thanks a lot, man. All right, Nick. Tony, you blew away. Excellent job, man. How do you feel? 
great. Yeah, you, you look great. We were all behind you all the way. And if you can find this game today in the mall, it's called Yo Noid. We got an excellent prize for you. Steve, what do you got for uh, Tony today? That's right, a used toaster comes complete with toast. Congratulations there, sir. We also have for you something else. It's called the uh, Radio Controlled Nico Cyclone Thing. Okay, Radio Controlled Fun for you. We got fun for you right now. We're going to take it into the mall. You ready to go? Yeah. Now, did you bring some friends here with you today? I uh, brought my parents. Good. Well, they're going to help you out. They're behind you all the way. And are you guys ready to go? Let's take it at five, four, three, two, one. It's begun. Here's a run as he goes to work today. All right. He's already assembling a great deal of prizes. A couple on his head. Some that don't stick. He's going for the Nintendo games here. Must have an NES sitting at home. As he goes along the way, he's going for those 8-bit system games. Now he goes to the top. He's looking at 25 seconds with plenty of time to shop. As he works his way across the top, oh, he takes to the side, and he's got plenty of room on the back to pack some of those game packs. He checks his clock over there, says, yeah, I got more time. Will he go for the Nash skateboard up above the Polaroid cool camera, the Genesis game organizer? Nobody does grab an entire East pack full of games, or will he just take the games? He'll take a couple down here as he scrambles down below. Way to go. Oh, Nick, man. Woo. Yeah, grab each and every game. <laughs> He's scrambling to make sure you got them all, Tony. I'll guarantee you that. Man, somebody call mall security, man. You really got it up there. Let's take a look and see each and every prize that he's taken. We have uh, Castle of Illusions for the Sega game. Excellent. For the NES, it's Heavy Shredding. What else we got? Ninja Gaiden 2, another great take. For the Game Boy, it's Pipe Dream. Also for Game Boy, Mercenary Force. A wristwatch, not bad. Stick that in your pocket so nobody takes it. Ultima Quest of the Avatar. Total Recall with Arnold. Yeah. Double Dragon 3, excellent game indeed. All right. Well, a couple of packs on the head here. Here's uh, Ninja Brothers, Little Ninja Brothers. 10, game number 11 is Heavy Shredding. This is one of the best takes I've seen, Tony. And game number 12 is Ninja Gaiden 2. Didn't quite find that secret game today, but you are coming back Friday. You're a big winner on RoboCop, one of your better games. Hey, bring his uh, parents on in here, buddy. You ready to come back Friday? Yeah. And hey, we're ready to have you. Hey, that's another big winner on this half hour of Video Power. Hey, buds, if you want me to do some tips from your favorite video games or you just want to appear on the show, write to me in five words or more and tell me why you think you should be a contestant on the greatest video game show in the universe, Video Power. Just write to Video Power, P.O. Box 896, Madison Square Station, New York, New York, 10159. Video Power is not affiliated with the manufacturers of any video game system or product. It does not recommend or promote any particular video game system or product. Kids, don't miss the fun and excitement as Steven Spielberg presents Tiny Toon Adventures today at 4.30. Now, stay tuned for Tracy Matisek's new... One full hour of Game Pro TV as well as video power. Hope you folks enjoyed that. And, uh... Let me, uh, pop the video, uh... Let me pop the... Face cam thing back up real fast. Actually, let's not do that. Let's go here. Or is it here? There we go. That's what I meant to do. So, hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thank you very much for checking the stream out. Even if it was for just a few seconds and wondering what in the world am I watching here. Uh, brief reminder, folks. Um, 
Team Pro TV and Video Power that will be every Friday. So please uh, don't forget that. 